might be Zombos up there. I don't remember. Oh! Oh, that's a f***ing buzzard. <laughs>
and then we can um, make bacon and eggs and other things too. So I think we have a pretty good chance of finding that cooking magazine in a house. Oh, shite. That's a doghouse. All right. Don't want to mess with dogs. If, if we do get attacked by a dog, we're hitting the three key and unloading our pistol. Um, you know, that green stealth meter, though, that's actually pretty useful. As long as it's green, that supposedly means there's no enemies nearby. I don't know what the radius of that is. All right. There is usually a sleeper by this ambulance, and I believe... What's this? Robotic weapons do 10% more damage, okay? That's something we might mess around with later on. Is that a corpse or a zombie? I think that's a corpse. That's a zombie, though. Is it? Yeah, it's a nurse. You know, next to the ambulance. That makes sense. I can't, oh, no, it's a hazmat dude. Okay. See, the thing is, though, is my... Stealth bar still green, so maybe they have to be actively searching for us. Whoops. Yeah, see, it turned yellow as soon as he woke up. Okay. So maybe they have to be on alert before it turns yellow. We'll figure it out. Two, really? God damn it. Two pieces of fucking paper. Are you serious? That's bullshit. Well, here, we got this, though. All right. Let's check the mailbox in the car over here. Oh, nice. Uh, diamond tip tools. That's going to be a while, but eventually useful. All right, we'll take that stuff. Let's do... Uh, okay, that's crawler. All right, so right now it's it's green. It's still green, and then it turned yellow. That's not a very big radius, man. Hmm. That's not a very big radius. Just saying. Let's check this mailbox before we get started here. There's a doghouse over there, too, so we don't don't really want to go all the way over there. Uh, we already learned that, so we can sell it for 100 coin. Well, we won't actually get 100 coin, but it's decent money for us right now. All right, this is that burned place. Yeah, I've been in here before. I don't know if they've changed it, though. Let's look in here for Forge Ahead. <laughs> look at that. Nice. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to pre-loot. Let's go ahead and start this. And we'll check this again. More Forge Ahead. Now we can make the Forge. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's going to mean Iron Arrows to start with. And then other good stuff, too. That's a seeds, okay. We'll take that. I guess we are supposed to start this quest from inside the garage. Just looking to see what's 
around down here. All right, down to the garage. This place has a lot of burn zombos in it, and they're pretty fast, but they're not very tough. Okay, I see two red dots, but I believe those guys are above us. We need to be ready for them to jump down and try and eat our face, though. Yeah, there's one right there. Um, I don't think we can hit him through that the floorboard. I mean, we could try it, I guess. Look at that. All right, that went pretty well. I'm surprised that worked. I didn't think it would go through the the floorboard, but it did. Oh, there's the other one right there. He tagged us, man. That kind of hurt. Jeez. And these guys are tougher than I remember them uh, being. Okay. What's this give us? Just wood, probably? Yeah. This will give us cloth. Does this give us just stone? Yeah, it does. Okay. I think we'll hold off on the rest of that for now. There's a passing gas box. Possible Zombo in that closet there. Yep, I see two red dots. All right. Um, I don't mind taking these guys on head to head if it's just one at a time, but if we get two at a time, that could not go well for us. I just don't know if these red dots are up or down. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and. Pop this open. Yeah, there is a zombie in there. I can see him. Shit. Ouch. Um. Challenge survivor short is complete. All right, what is that? Survive for seven real hours. Oh, okay. Look at that. Ah, we're getting borderline on wh whether or not I should take... Yeah, you know what? Better to be safe than sorry. That's going to make us thirsty too, but it's also going to heal us up pretty good, and we can counter that with some red tea. And uh, I guess we'll put those up there for now. That healed us all the way up. Nice. Okay. See, the thing is, is we're not really any tougher now than we were on day one, uh, at least in terms of our armor, right? And I haven't taken any pain tolerance or anything like that yet, so we still need to be careful. Right, let's see what's in here. 
Well, that's not entirely true. We we do gain health as we level. Um, so, okay. Uh, this is repair tool crafting. Nice. Okay. Let's take that. Hammers, nail guns, basically. I think that's probably the only two in that category. Uh, okay, there's the other guy right there. Nice headshot there. In fact, let's go back out here and we have a little more room to maneuver. Oh, he lost us. Good. Another free shot for us. Except for we need to actually hit him. Oh, come on. Unfucking believable. There we go. I think I might have heard a Zeke outside, so we gotta be careful. Alright, that takes care of him. See what's in here. I will take that. I'm not going to take that. There might be a Zeke in there. I don't remember if there is or not. Why don't we... Uh, let's open this door from here. Can't really tell. Doesn't appear to be anybody in there at the moment. I think there's a zombo that jumps down on top of your head when you go in that room. Unless it's this room. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. Oh, there we go. Boiled meat and yucca juice. Uh, oh, really? I thought that would give us the bacon and eggs. What the hell, man? Oh, we have to get to 10 magazines for bacon and eggs. Oh, I see. Okay. I misinterpreted what that meant. Okay, so now we need to find two more. Bacon and eggs are being a little bit elusive. What the hell? Uh, we'll take that. Not that. I'll take all of that. All right. I think we're safe until we get over there and then we're going to have problems. How about some clothes? It's not really clothes. could do is retreat out this door if we get in trouble. Uh, no, no, don't do that. Actually, I don't even know why I bothered repairing that. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. It might 
I want to say something comes through the ceiling, or maybe it's just here. I just remember an ambush. Oh, okay, we got a red dot. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to run down there, trigger whatever's going to come after us, and then we're going to retreat out that door. See, if I knew, are they going to come through there or through the through there? I don't know. What we could do is this. That would buy us a little bit of time if something does come that way. Yep, okay. Okay, we got our next point. And we have one more, well, our, our final enemy or enemies are up there. Right, okay. What's that? Improve robotic crafting skill. Pipe baton quality too. All right. Okay, before we go up there, let's take a look at points. I think what I said I wanted to do was cardio. Let's do it. That's probably the only point we're going to put into cardio, though, because the more, the further along we get in the game, the less we really are going to need that. Um, and we're going to get encumbered here, too, so we're going to have to have a come to Jesus meeting. I think I have pipes back at the base, and they're easy enough to get, so let's scrap those. Except for, shit, we could use them for a forge. What does the forge require? Three pipes. Um. All right, just in case I'm mistaken about how many pipes I think I have, let's not do that. Uh, four pieces of paper aren't really doing us any good. And... um. We don't really need goldenrod. It's all over the place. I might regret that later, but whatever. We'll deal when the, when the time comes. So that gives us two slots. We can use that bone to repair this. That gives us three slots. Not really willing to... Oh, here, we can eat this. Okay, so that gives us four slots back. That's That should be good for now. I think actually now that I think about it, I think it's this next room that we <clears throat> that we have to go into that we're gonna get an ambush. In this room here. Um what if we try and cheesy McSqueezy? Let's cut a hole through here and just take a peek. Cause the other problem we have right now is uh guy out there is that we're kind of high up too so if uh oh okay that's cheating <laughs> look at that molotov nice um we're kind of high up right so if oh baby craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts man we are really hitting the jackpot on the arrow books are we still hungry yeah let's eat that now uh, what is this? This is Raider. So that's going to give us some protection, but it's going to make us really noisy and it's going to screw up our mobility. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to wear that yet. I'd rather get to the point where if, once we put heavy armor on, we're putting a full set of heavy armor on and we have... Oh, shit. Is that a good idea or not? 
What does this do? It's uh, It gives us plus 10 armor rating. Ability, noise increase. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm hesitant to wear that at this point. We will be wearing heavy armor probably because um, I my favorite armor set <clears throat> is the miner set, and that's a heavy set. But it's just amazing for mining, especially mining by hand. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not making any promises one way or the other. We'll, we'll just do the best we can. Oh, that that's a nice find, too. Shotgun Messiah crate. Uh, I, I'm hitting the metal table, but actually, can we? Yeah, we could probably cut in over here. We still got to kill these zombies, but if we can get the loot first, why not, right? I suppose we could, you know, if it's, if we're going to have to take them on head to head, it probably would be a good idea to put that armor on. Uh, all right. That's nice. Rifle crafting. That's probably not any better than what we have. So we'll scrap it. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they break through the ceiling there. So let's go around this way. Yeah, I'm I'm going to actually wear this. Damn it, we're encumbered now. Okay, get rid of the paper. Get rid of... We don't need the lead. And we don't need the coal. Okay. You gonna jump down? Oh, it's just you, darling? Nice one. All right, what's she going to do? Is she at, oh, she's at the door right here. Oh, shit. You coming over here, dude? Can't get over here? There you go. Yeah, we have that armor on so we can take a few hits. Okay. Success. Um, all right. I think what we'll do is let's eliminate this guy too. And then we're going to take this armor back off. Wow. Look at that juke. The durability of one Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay. We did it. Let's go do our turn in and then we'll take another job. Where was that doghouse that we saw? Don't remember. Be careful though. What's right there? And there's the dog. See his head right there by my cursor? Yeah, no, I don't want to mess with him. No way, no how. What is here? This is called the shed. Isn't there dudes up on top here? All right, let's loot this truck.
hardly worth the effort. Do I, do I have plastic on me? I do. All right, let's get this. Let's take this armor back off. Um, I'll just wear that. We'll hang on to it though. All right, I'm gonna take one small bandage uh, to top off our health, and we're saving the the big first aid kit for serious situations. And let's uh, we'll sell two of those sewing kits. Let's put some more of that in there. We're doing pretty good on on food at the moment. We have 17 pipes. Oh, yeah. Actually, before we head to the trader, let's make our forge. We're going to need a log. I think... Don't we just make those? I think we just make those, right? Yeah. It's kind of weird that we turn lumber back into logs. <laughs> it's a little counterintuitive, but whatever. It's a video game, man. Okay, there we got that. We need three duct tape. We're going to have to make that, which we can do. And three pipes. Yeah, let's grab this iron and this, um, whatever the hell that's called, clay. And we're going to have to go get some iron. That'll take 20 minutes, or seconds, 20 seconds. And we have ourselves a forge. Right. Okay. I'm going to be heating the place up now, but whatever. Can I make iron arrowheads? I can. Oh, good. That's a beautiful thing. Alright, so, um, let's put you back there. Put you back down here. Um, let's repair this, and then I'm going to put the extra stone away. Bring our coin with us in case Recti Poo has something we we might want to buy from him. I don't. <clears throat> I haven't checked to see when he resets, but I don't really have anything else here I want to sell, or at least it's in enough quantity to sell. Everything clear. We do have a Marlene. She did. Oh, there is a crawler over here. Okay, let's go. It's noon. Uh, that's an egg, right? Yeah. All right. You know what? Forget about him for now. I want to do the turn in and get another shop going. Oh, there's a zombie up there. Okay, he's down. All right, Rectum. What are you? Now that you did the job, I guess you ain't that damn bad after all. Five Molotovs would be nice. Five Lockpicks would be nice. Uh, I think we'll take the Molotovs, actually. Okay, that gets us up to 1,873 coin. Do you have... Oh, actually, you restock on day seven. Okay. Right. We could buy that wrench. That would take almost all of our money. I don't know if that's a good idea right at the moment for us to do that. Just looking to see what else he has. Um, Actually, hold on. How much are... How much are these? Fifteen hundred. Could buy it. It would make our smelting go fifty percent faster, but 
I don't know, again, I don't know if that's a wise thing to spend our money on at this point. I think maybe not. Um, we could buy some bacon and eggs. That'll give us 36 food. Nah. I'm not... Uh... Oh. Okay. This, this gives you a shit ton of health. This, in fact, this is... Even though it's not technically the highest level food in the game, it's still some of the best food. Um, plus, you gives, plus it gives you plus one fortitude for 10 minutes. I mean, if I'm going to spend money on food, I should probably spend money on that, eh? Doesn't really have any weapons that we want or need. Sewing kits. Yeah, I, uh... Does have, oh, he has duct tape. That's always good to spend money on. Does he have glue? I thought we checked his inventory for duct tape and he didn't have it. Unless he's reset. Maybe he has reset. How much would all of this cost? Twelve seventy-five. <laughs> no. Um, we don't need to do that. Okay, well he's gonna keep he's gonna have that till day seven, so let's just keep that in mind. Weapon flashlight mod. These are all three thousand. Okay. I'm gonna um I'm gonna actually buy this. Be careful out there. You wouldn't wanna get hurt. You wouldn't wanna get hurt. Okay, so we got uh, the forge point and buy items from Trader Point. Nice. All right, what do you got for your next job? He's got a fetch that's three hundred and thirty. Oh, I got just a job for Ranger a Station like you. Delta. <sighs> Are we going to have to fight military guys? Well, one way Don't to find just out. just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Get the job done. All right, we're going that direction. I think what we're going to do is let's just drop off a couple of things in our little drop chest over here. Can I harvest that? Yeah. Have this one too. Don't need to take that with us, but we'll take all the rest of this with us. Okay. Yeah, that um, uh, sham chowder will double as both a healing item and some serious food and fort a uh, point in fortitude. It's just really good stuff. Can't go wrong with it. Uh, do I want stones? No, I don't think I do. Let's stay light. Ronnie McDonnie. We're going back to where we started the game. Oh, yeah, Ranger Station Delta. I think that's where I had my base, um, or another base in that Ranger playthrough. Yeah, that was a fun base. In fact, I did my first Horde Night there, too, in that playthrough. Ranger Station Delta. All right, do I want to do any preluding? Yeah, let's hit the the truck. Um, there's going to be a zom, I think, in that. Oh shit! In that outhouse. Hit her. What the hell was that all about? Okay. Let's uh let's see if we can get to this workbench. 
because that'll give us an extra shot at maybe getting uh, some more forge aheads. There might be zombos up there. I don't remember. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a fucking buzzard. <laughs> All right. Whew. Scared the hell out of me. Oh, man. Our first lock pick. Here are Zikos. Zika doodles. Repair that, get rid of that. Okay. All right, let's get this party started because it's getting late. That repopped the bird's nest. Nice. Let's use this right now. That was a nice find. Good stuff. Uh, I thought there was a zombie in there. Guess not. There's a zombie right there, though. down let's uh get the buzzard out again oh i thought he was gonna stay stuck in the attic oh shit i'm glad we didn't get infected though i do have honey not that we want to have to use the honey though okay No forge ahead. Do we get, um, used to get iron ingots for taking these apart. I wonder if we still do or if we just get scrap iron. We're going to find out. Nope, no ingots. All right. I don't remember if there's going to be more Zeke's out in the yard here. Guess we'll find out. Sand. Right there. There's a bow out there. We need to we need to be mindful of him. There's another zombie right there. Is 
There's more zombies back here than I remembered. All right. Okay, we aggroed one of those guys out there. Uh, oh, shit, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Can we get up here? Oh, yes. Okay, I don't think they can get to us. Whew, that was close. Okay, yeah, next time I see a zombie out in the wild, I need to just deal with him and not leave him. I didn't even know there was a Darlene here. It's a good thing, good thing we took that one point in parkour. I would, would not have been able to jump up there. Stand. Come here, Darlene. Out of stamina. All right, she's dead. Whew. Okay, parkour for the win, eh? Give me my arrows back. All right. We done messing around out here now? Just check to see if there's any more zombs outside that we need to be concerned about. Wow, look at all the bird's nests. Man, I just barely made it up there, too. I wonder if I... I must have jumped up on that pipe. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I did. Okay. Let's come up here. I think we, do we have to eat that for an achievement? Or did we already, maybe we already got that achievement. I don't know. We'll eat it. Okay. I think there might be a Zeke. Yeah, there's a Darlene in here. Maybe the floor breaks in this room. I don't remember for sure. But we gotta deal with this asshole now too. All right, you know what? F fuck you. Piss me off, and you're wasting my time and my arrows. Okay. So what is this? It's five thousand hit points, but they're they already got it halfway down. But I there's two of them in there, so oh, that's a problem. I wonder if we can um cheese them from up above a little bit. Unless they can... Can they get up here? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that might not be a bad thing in the, in the, when it's all said and done. Uh, no. Don't do that. Go here. Hmm. 
Vehicle magazine. Whew. Okay. I think that's probably all the Zikaruskis. Let's take this. Because we need the health, we need the food, we need the hydration. Get rid of that. Wiring. Nothing in that trunk. Uh, those. These for repairs. And I guess we'll take the sandwiches. Uh, we're not keeping that for now. Okay, I guess that's all we can loot up here. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, they changed the way those look. Knuckle wraps. Ooh, this is nice. Polymer string. Uh, let's repair this. Modify. Increase our damage by three and our velocity by seven. That's not a bad little upgrade. We'll take it. Any chance for a piece of nice armor in here? No. Medical. Hey, we can make first aid bandages now. Beautiful. Got some buckshot there. Uh. Oh, where's the... Uh, oh, okay, I guess the satchel's upstairs. Okay, jump on the rail. Jump on a block. Jump on a roof. There we go. Okay, we need to get back, um, but we can't do so encumbered, so we got to get rid of three things. What are those going to be? Let's get rid of the sandwiches. Let's get rid of tin cloth, as much as I hate to do that. Um, and let's scrap the nails because we can now make nails in our forge, and we're good. Let's get the F out of here. Uh, where are we going? We're going that way. All right, I'll see you guys back at the trader. I'll keep the camera rolling in case something crazy happens. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to pay you now that you did it. Crafting skill magazine bundle. Or pipe bombs. Those are the two that I would be interested in. And at this point, I'd say probably the crafting skill magazines. Let's take it. All right. Next job for you is going to be a Claire Zombos that's 500 meters away at the Richmond residence. Let's get one thing straight. You're not working. Money talks, bullshit walks. Trying to see. Do I have anything I want to sell him? I, I want to start keeping brass and lead and all that now that we have a forge. Will you buy those? Nope. We don't have enough of those. So, yeah, I don't really have anything I want to sell them. We could sell them the engine, I suppose. 200 coin. Uh, wait, what did that say? Something about buying, Watch I don't yourself, know. Stranger. I know some fellers that break legs for coin. Okay, two knives, two shotguns, and two tech planets. All right, that wasn't too bad. All right, let's go home. And, um... Where is home at? Home's that way. I want to... Uh, I'm going to spend the rest of today... Okay, we don't have very much time left. Harvesting up some iron and maybe a little more clay. Uh, for the forge. And then I will meet you guys... At the morning of day six... 
And our plan will be to come up with a horde base plan at Dick Steiner. And then depending upon, you know, how our time goes, if we have time, we'll go do this next job after we're, we get that figured out. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.